Hey, this is Steve Good back once again to talk about leverage trading using Bybit. And I wanted to get in today to kind of pick up where I left off, which was how to actually execute a trade, a basic trade, doing market and limit orders in Bybit, where you can use leverage and get more value out of the trades. So let's start with where I left off, which was I was going to do a basic trade. I was talking about having a you know, balance of 0.22, of which I'm going to spend 0.18, which is basically trading one to one for the value of my account. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to change this to three because I want to get a little bit more value out of the account than what I'm doing right now. So that's going to be about 4,500 that I'm going to trade. And you'll see that that changes it to the cost of 0.18, which is roughly the value of my account. But the order value is going to be 0.55. So that's all cool. So now what we want to do is we're going to do a buy long on this particular trade. We're doing it at the market, which means at the actual cost. That's the actual cost of 8,178 or 77. Whenever we click the submit button, that's going to be the actual price that we lock in. Now, before we execute that trade, two quick things. There's a take profit and a stop loss. I always tell people that before you execute a trade, you put in a stop loss. What's a stop loss? A stop loss is making sure that if the trade goes the wrong direction, you don't end up losing a ton of money. So now depending on your appetite for risk, you could do 5%, you could do 10%, you can do 15%. It's you know, it's up to you guys. I always say, don't take too much risk. I'm going to put in a 15% amount because I think that's about right. So there you can see my stop loss comes in down to the bottom of 7791. And I have a liquidation price of 6,100. So I don't have to worry about the liquidation price. I'm not going to get liquidated and lose all 0.18 of my Bitcoin because what I've done is I've made sure that my appetite is to lose no more than 0.02. Now, why do this? I'll tell you what, guys, this is a really, really important thing. You don't wanna be losing money, you wanna be making money. It's okay to make bad trades. The thing is, make sure you limit the downside and you increase the upside. So for example, in this particular trade, I could say that I wanna take profit if it goes up 50%, but I wanna take a loss if it goes down 15%. What I'm doing, is I'm telling the system that I'm going to buy Bitcoin at this rough value of around 8,182, whatever it is when I finally execute the trade. But if it shoots up and goes up to 9,800, exit my trade. And maybe that's a bit too high right now because the market's not volatile, but let's just say for the moment, I'm going to execute my trade. If it goes to 9,817, close my position, I'm going to make 0.09. If it goes down and I get a bit unfortunate and it drops, I'm going to only lose 0.02. Now that's how you do smart trading guys. And this is really, really important. That's why I'm highlighting this for you. I always set this up every single trade. This is what I do. I don't always use 15%. I might use 5%. If I don't think it's going to drop that much, let's be realistic. Bitcoin's volatile. So it doesn't have to be 15%. doesn't have to be 5%. I could put an amount like 7,900. That's okay too. But I'm willing to lose 0 0.02, but my upside is 0 0.09. As long as it goes up to that level, or maybe a little below that, I could set it down to something like 8,900. I'm still gonna make twice as much as I lose. And that is the goal to winning in trading. If you lose on a few trades, it's okay. Limit the downside risk. Don't take big risks. So that's how you set up a trade for a basic market trade. The stop loss is the amount that it'll drop down to in a buy. And this is the amount that where you're gonna take your profit. Don't get greedy. Bitcoin goes up and down all the time. So don't worry about it. If it shoots up, Take your profits, then look for the next entry. That is the key to all of this when it gets into trading. And that's all I can say about that. So we're at the point now where we've done all the bits and pieces we need to do. So what do we need to do next? We need to hit that confirmation button that I'm going to execute the trade, which is what I'm going to do now. And when I hit confirm, it goes into the system and says, voila, there's your order. Give me a little error message the first time, but don't worry about that. And now I've got a quantity of 4,500 Bitcoin, pretend Bitcoin, because I'm in a testnet account. And there's the value of the account 0.54. So I've got half a Bitcoin I'm trading. But remember, I only had 0.2 Bitcoin in my account. And I still have up here in the available margin about 0 0.04 Bitcoin. So that was the 0.18 and the 0.22. Well, that comes out to, you know, difference is 0 0.04. So that's what's left over. But I'm now trading almost 0.55 Bitcoin. And I entered the trade at 8,170, 8,187. My liquidation price, 6,164. And then as I showed you guys, when we were first entering the trade, I had a downside risk and an upside opportunity. So I've set it up for myself so that if it drops to 7,900, 
I will lose an amount of money, but not that much because I've limited my, my downside risk. And my upside is if it goes up to 8,900, I'm laughing. I've just made, you know, a whole bunch of Bitcoin that would be like, what was it? 0 0.09 Bitcoin, right? And I wouldn't even have that otherwise because I mean, I would be only trading with a small amount and I would need for this price to go up a lot more than a couple hundred points to get the same uh, amount out. So that's the trade. The trade is set up, it's executed, and it's in the system. That is the basics of how to enter trades into, uh, into Bybit for setting up your stop losses and for setting up your limits. The limits is the take profit. That's the limit in terms of how high you want it to go before it exits. So there you go, guys. That's all set up. It's off and running. I'll be back again. We're going to talk about more about how to use Bybit, how to get into this a bit more, talk about how to set up an actual limit order instead of doing a market order which is a slightly different thing, and then setting up the stop and limit orders the same way in the execution of the trade, just to give you guys a different flavor. And we'll get into all the details down below about the closed PNL, the active, conditional, the filled order history, and tons more. There's lots and lots of stuff in here. So hopefully it was really helpful. Just drop some comments down below. Give us a subscribe and a like on your way out, and I'll be back with more on trading with Bybit and leverage trading. See you guys soon.